When uh, the pandemic struck and all of the world and Congress were suddenly forced to figure out how to continue doing business without being in the same place, Congress and lawmakers agreed that they would start holding virtual meetings using technical tools like Zoom or WebEx. Congress also added a few other measures to keep the business the going. Designated by Dr. Barra pursuant to House Resolution. You know, proxy voting through digital uh, voting mechanisms so members didn't have to come into Washington, D.C. to be present physically to cast their votes on legislation. And then the third thing that Congress also adopted uh, as a result of the pandemic was adding digital tools such as introduction of legislation, introduction of amendments, and so on. You sure got to climb a lot of steps to get to this Capitol building here in Washington. Well, I wonder who that sad little scrap of paper is. Allowing members to do that through digital means instead of uh, the old-fashioned paper and pen. Now we are a year into the pandemic, and members of Congress and outside groups are looking at how well did Congress use all these tools and asking the question, should these tools remain? And on that particular question, there seems to be some friction. There are some members of Congress who say that politics is different. It's not the same as corporate America. So you need to have members in the same room to be able to talk to each other. But there are others, technology specialists and former members who say that technology, in fact, can actually make that process a lot easier and smoother uh, than having to be in a physical space. So that's something that's still being debated. And the second thing is also advocates of technological solutions and digital platforms are saying that we can do this. Indeed. Congress needs to continue doing committee meetings, hearings, and others in an online virtual world because that provides a lot of benefits. One, it can bring a set of witnesses from around the world into a hearing or a, a committee meeting yes, no, that you couldn't do before. Congress does not pay for witnesses to appear before them. So sometimes witnesses don't can't afford to pay for themselves so they don't show up. That's one benefit. Number two, having a virtual meeting also perhaps allows more constituents, more American citizens and residents to actually participate in a hearing, watch it virtually and see how it functions. And the third thing people point to is the use of digital tools, introduction legislation, um, amendments and so on. When it's done online, it uh, makes the whole process more smoother. Everybody can see it so that here now, once something is done digitally, everybody can have access to it at the same time. So those are the adv advantages that outside groups and former lawmakers are asking Congress to adopt even after the pandemic ends. But it remains to be seen, for example, if the Committee on Modernizing Congress will take up formal study of how this digital experiment worked in the last year.